Edition. Thanks for that report. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Antetokounmpo in at the one spot. And for the Celtics, Brown and Hayward, they're the wing. Ennis Cantor is out there with Williams. And it's Walker in at the point guard. So off the tip, it's Boston. Pass to Williams. The kick out to Brown. Nailed from three-point land. And the three-point shot is something that Brown continues to improve upon. It's important for him to be draining these looks. Bloodshow outside. Pass to Ansa Kumbo. Shoots over Walker. And out of the Kumbo with the basket on the assist by Bloodshow. Again, floor vision from Eric Bledsoe makes dishing that basketball look easy. From 18 feet away. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Launches a three. Rebound by Williams. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Boston. Outside, Walker from downtown. And again, Boston with the triple. And this is where Walker thrives, an assertive long-distance shooter. And there's the pass to Middleton. Here's Lopez. No good there. And the Celtics going the other way now. Hayward passes to Williams. Over Middleton. The rebound by the Bucks. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. This is his first free throw of the game. from Lopez so much talk about Lopez and how much he has changed his game to fit the modern NBA and I think what's most impressive is not just the ability to shoot the ball but the ability to be effective while shooting the three ball Rick Lopez has worked hard to do that he hits both from the strike makes it pretty tough on the defense who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line and he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Brown wide open. He fires. Off target from three-point range. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet. Only one of four from the field. No good. Shot missing. Great D that time for Middleton. quarter of ball almost two and a half minutes in nice ball movement by Milwaukee Lopez no what and so far the team just one of five and that rim shrinking there's Brown with the three Boston again missing Middleton outside outside on the Kumbo Middleton trying to break free and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Great to see Atentacubo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but the foul. And he knocks down the first one. second free throw. Well, a little bit each year, Giannis gets fouled at a higher and higher clip. That shows about 
how much more aggressive and how much more confident and how much more usage he's had through his first few seasons. And here is Hunter DeCumbo following Jalen Brown's three. Passes it to DiVincenzo. On deep, carries it from three-point range. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. That's a two-pointer from Walker. They grab their own miss. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The Bucks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Austin Trailer. Now Walker. Brown outside. Back to Walker. Six on the shot clock. Fades back. And the rejection by Out of the Kumbo. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Bloodsoe outside. Pass to Middleton. Let's the three fly. Hayward grabs the board. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Brown with it. He's picked up by Lopez. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. So it'll be Jalen Brown shooting. That's on Brooke Lopez. Austin shooting their first free throw of the night. impressive as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. Giannis against Walker. Middleton on the wing. The tray. And the Bucks miss again. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Cancer. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Now this is what makes Cantor so offensively capable. He can not only score, but he draws fouls to get to the free throw line as well. Well, Celtics shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Well, the former Turkish star and third overall pick in the 2011 draft, Cantor is still trying to become a dominant force at the NBA level. And Cantor drops them both. Bucks trail by three. Here's Bledsoe. And it's blocked by Brown. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. Let's go. 
Here's DiVincenzo. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Celtics leading by three. Walker dishes to Cantor. Williams kicks to Walker. Back to Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Now here's DiVincenzo. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Ludzo against Brown. Ludzo passes to Lopez. Down to five on the shot clock. To halt the run. Well, the offense is sputtering a bit here. Bounds. Starting to fall behind. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Hayward. Smart's checked in for Gordon Hayward. Middleton for three. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. If he's making shots like that, the teammates want to feed that confidence. Middleton with a sweet stroke. There's Walker with the three. And Lopez pulls it down. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Now here's Smart. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. Williams dishes to Brown. Pocket six. From outside the arc. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Stolen by Cantor. Brown outside. Count it. Now it's a seven-point Celtic lead. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Here's Antetokounmpo. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. The Bucks have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And some changes here for the Celtics. Poirier's checked in. And it's Robert Williams in for Williams. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Ludson. Good for Giannis. Celtics leading by five. Pass to Wanamaker. It's going by to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo sends it in. A good decision there. Giannis isn't easy to stick with, especially after the screen. Wanamaker looking over the floor. Here's the pass to Brown. And again, Boston with the triple. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Giannis kicks to Connaughton. Takes it from 10. Rie grabs the miss. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Here's Wanamaker. Here's Poirier. Five on the clock, and there's the foul. It goes on Ilias Oba. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Wanamaker. Under the Kumbo defending. And the rejection by Giannis! Here's Giannis. Ten points for him.
Lopez outside. Off target from outside. Celtics leading by eight. Outside Williams. Brown outside. Uses the glass to finish the way. Brown's got 19 points. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's Wanamaker. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. But they'll get another chance. Williams with a clean look. No good on the triple. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Connaughton passes to Lopez. No good that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Here's Wanamaker. Here's Williams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have to foul it. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Williams. And the energy of Williams, it's infectious. Amazing at using it to block shots, rebound, score, whatever they ask of. Einberg's checked in for Brown. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. So he hits both. And so he'll bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a 10-point game. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Yeah, it never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. Austin with the ball. Following the bucket by the Bucks to the middle. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. As tough as they get. Smart, a bulldog out there, does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. Shooting two. First one drops. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. And so Smart nails both of them. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. Now, here is Hill. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Corver, good! Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Smart. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
and he makes the first. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. And so, Smart nails both of them. 119 left to play here in the first. Here's Connaughton. With some art, he takes it up and lays it in. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Wanamaker the pass to Poirier. Here's Wanamaker. He's guarded by Hill. Six to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Poirier. Here's Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Just such a physical player. Williams has no off switch, he is, which is how he gets these calls. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first one falls for And he makes the first, but misses the second. Bucks trail by eight. Here's Connaughton. And another three for Milwaukee. There's so much experience behind the game of Ursan Ilyasova. That's just a smart pass. Left side, smart. Lopez with the steal. Corver with it. Three-pointer. Rie grabs the miss. Poirier's got four rebounds now tonight. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Boston Celtics. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And when asked to compare himself to LeBron James, Giannis had this to say. I know if I put the work in, maybe, maybe 10 years from now I can be the same sentence. But I got to put the work in. Whenever I face him, I got to show up. I cannot be taking day off against him. And, Greg, that's the humble, hard-working approach we've come to expect from Giannis. You know, he's not interested in putting himself on a pedestal. Enough people do that for him. He just wants to become the best he can be and win rings. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in Game 2. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Bucks, Eliasova out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's Hill. Then there's Kyle Corbin. And it's Connaughton in at the, the two. no good on the free throw and the fun loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate it's clear that they love playing with him. 
scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. And that on the putback stuff. Now, the team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. Lopez kicks to Hill. Just five on the clock. His first shot coming late. It's deflected. There's Langford. He dishes it to Hayward. It's stolen by Corver. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Now here is Hill. Guarded close. That one goes. Count it. George Hill does a good job of changing speeds, and then you add that length. Tough to stop. Hayward outside. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks trail by three. Pass to Hill. Back to Ilyasova. Over Williams. Ilyasova can't hit. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Again, the miss by the Celtics. For Milwaukee, they've gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Oh, oh, Look at that. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Here's Wanamaker, and he bangs it home with time one out, hand. Out. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Eliasova. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Hill. Bledsoe taking his time here. Stolen by Walker. Puts up a three. Langford misses. I like the fact that he has the confidence to take the shot, but that's about all I like on that one. And there's a whistle. That goes on Romeo Langford. That is his first foul of the game. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Celtics leading by three. Cantor with it. Now defended by Corver. Walker's shot is off. The Bucs have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Corver finds Budzo. Banked in off the glass. Tough to match up with Eric Bledsoe. He's incredible at slicing up the D, especially using the bounce. In the corner, it's Hayward. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's Bloodsoe with it, bringing it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Middleton against Williams. Here's Walker. Lopez with the block. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. Celtics making a switch here. Browns checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. 
Antetokounmpo is checked in for Kyle Korver. Williams dishes to Walker. Shot clock at five. Over Giannis. Kept alive. Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. The sheer strength of Cantor really coming through there. Throws it down with intent. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to on the Kumbo. Now DiVincenzo. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Here's Brown. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And Brown is just a physical beast, especially inside where he gets whatever he wants. Now here's Young. Defense right on him. That one good for two. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. We've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Trying to get open is Lopez. Austin laden by three. Shoots the three. Williams. And Williams is right there. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Inside. Lopez, no what? Well, the Celtics shooting 33% in the second quarter. The offense has looked crossed up and confused at times. Bucks trail by five. Ghana's with it. Can't recover. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, I don't know how you deal with the length of a Tentacubo. I mean, his name is long enough, and then you look at the body. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Celtics leading by four. Walker, bounce pass. Brown the pass to Walker. Over in the corner, Williams. Back to Walker. Five to shoot. Looking to get it going. That shot off the mark. The Bucks go the other way with it. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. The Celtic shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I admire the energy that Brown plays was so great at getting to the line. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Smarts check in for the Celtics. And Brown drops them both. Bucks trail by six. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. Pass to Bloodsoe. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, 
a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Kicks it to Walker. Takes a three. The rebound by Middleton. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Great communication on the alley-oop. It's a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Bledsoe against Brown. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Bledsoe. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Smart finds Brown. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Brown's got 26. Okay, even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Here's on to Takumbo, stolen by Walker. Smart deciding where to go with it. That three off the mark. And so onto Takumbo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by five. And the dunk by Lopez. Hard to deal with Brooke Lopez and that kind of size, especially when he's forcing the issue like this here and going strong. Brown outside. Over Bledsoe. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. The pass to Jan. Pulls up on the wing. And he overshot that one, missing. Celtics leading by three. Passes to Brown. Back to Walker. And Cantor wide open. He shoots offline with his three. Here's DiVincenzo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Kemba Walker picks one up. For Milwaukee, they have gone five of nine at the line. And the first one drops. Austin making some changes. Fourier's checked in. And it's Robert Williams in for Williams. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And so he makes both from the line. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Celtics with the lead. Wanamaker the pass to Williams. Here's Smart. Pass to Brock. Just five to shoot. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Hill finds DiVincenzo. 
Here's the lob into the Tumbo. Taken away by Williams. Here's Wanamaker. Jacks up a three. No good that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Ahead. Williams with the block. Well, the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. You're smart. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. The Bucks trail. And here is DiVincenzo. Five points in the game. Williams with the block. And smart now atop the key. Pass to Poirier. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Boston. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Pat Connaughton in for Eric Ludson. And Wanamaker gets it to go. With this lead, they're playing confidently, showing a quick trigger from beyond. Outside Hill. Shot clock at six. Ball's not loose. And now here comes Williams leading the break. And it's Williams finishing it off. You got to keep pace with Williams in transition. He's so good at just outworking everybody on the floor. At the teardrop and the layup good by Hill. Hill's got his second bucket tonight. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Here's Wanamaker. He's guarded by Hill. Wanamaker the pass to Hayward. To the paint. Here's Williams. And Williams throws it down. And the skills of Brown. Not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Hill looking around. He kicks it to Ilias Hova. It's back to Hill. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. And thank you, Kyle. A little tough there offensively in the first half. How do you guys get going in the second? We just, you know, keep on moving the ball, play with energy, play with the pass. I mean, they're a great defensive team. It's what they do. So uh, it's going to be tough tonight, but you know, we did all right. Hey, Kyle, thanks a lot for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Celtics, after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series, they look to be getting back on the right track here tonight. And it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep hill to climb. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They put a strong emphasis on patrolling and controlling the glass tonight. And the players got the message. They're battling for every rebound. If they're going to keep that attitude up in the second half, I really like their chances. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? I think they're playing defense with their hands instead of their feet. Too many times they've been caught reaching and they paid the price. 
These guys giving up way too many free throws. They need to stop sending guys to the line. Come on. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Tucker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Williams is out there with Ennis Cantor, and it's Hayward in at the three. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Ludzo against Brown. Five on the clock. The pass to Walker. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Bledsoe right side. Good! Bledsoe's got six. Well, we've seen Bledsoe get more active from that area, looking assured and controlled. He knows he can score from there. Hayward on the wing, defended by DiVincenzo. Outside, Walker. For the three. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got his fourth rebound in this one. Shots good by Middleton. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. And Walker kicks to Cantor. And there's the feed to Brown. And finished off by Brown. Like the execution there from Cantor. Usually likes to score this time with the pass. Bledsoe against Brown. On the wing, Giannis shoots a fader, and yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Giannis has got 19 points. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Giannis outside. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got his third assist on the night. Walker the pass to Williams. Cancer with it. Hayward on the wing. Outside, Walker. From downtown. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Cantor's shot is off. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Lopez has got six points. And how about Lopez getting out as the big man with that kind of hustle in transition? Passes it to Cantor. Back to Walker. From the arc. And the three ball is good. Walker's got his third bucket of the night. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Tried to answer back. But that three is off the mark. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And what you love about Hayward, the all-around ability. Scores, facilitates, rebounds, and does so with consistency. It's his first trip to the line. Yeah. 
free throw good from Hayward. Einberg's checked in for Jalen Brown. Hayward hits them both. Bucks trail by four. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got eight and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Two. Throw drop for DiVincenzo. One goes in. Two from the line that time. And Walker's got the ball here for Boston. They've led by as much as ten. A step back shot here. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Williams can't get it to go. The Bucks have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And the Celtics making a change here. Smart's checked in. Boston's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Walker surveying the floor. Hayward on the wing, defended by DiVincenzo. Milwaukee in the lead. Beyond the arc, good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Even Genzo's got 16 points. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Outside, Walker dishes it to Cantor. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. Down low, and Cantor throws it down. And we all know Walker can score, but he's also terrific at finding his teammates. Ludzo passes to Lopez. Now the dish to Antetokounmpo. And the double up Antetokounmpo. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Smart. Makes it off the glass. Now it's just a three-point Bucks lead. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. On the wing, Giannis. Count that one. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And Walker kicks to Cantor. 
and the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that one. Robert Williams is checked in for Boston. Brad Wanamaker comes in for Walker. And then for Milwaukee, Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And the first one at the line is good. And the Celtics making a change here. Poirier's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Lopez is checked in. So he gets them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Celtics trail by seven. Now smart. Six points for him. And stolen by Ilya Sova. And oh, here we go with Hill. Nobody back. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, the length of George Hill can create some problems for some defenders. Sometimes they're forced to foul him. They did there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Uh, whether George Hill has started, which he's done a lot in his career, or come off the bench, he's a guy that you like in your rotation as a steadying force. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws good from Hill. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Celtics. Nine-point game. Brown outside. High post try. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Here's Wanamaker. And the rejection by Giannis. Smart. Boston again missing. Milwaukee leading by nine. Here's Hill. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Williams passes to Smart. Second chance shot, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against Milwaukee. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The first free throw is good. That 
that one falls, so he hits both of them. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Giannis outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got eight rebounds in this game. Outside, smart. Kicks to Williams. Shot clock at five. Here's Brown. And that one hits back iron. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Here's Connaughton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Celtics trail by seven. Brown outside. Pass to Poirier. Over Hill. Poirier, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And the double up out of Dekumbo. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. The Celtics shooting terrible so far in the second half. Down around 26%. Smart with the ball. Six points for him. Brown outside. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Brown's got 31. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Wanamaker, the pass to Williams. Double team on Williams. Puts it up from 15. Moves back up. A nice shot by Poirier. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Outside, out of the combo. It's good. Giannis has got 25 points. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. Here's Poirier. Back to Wanamaker. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Well, you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. Shot clock at two. Poirier. It's all in by Elias Over. Milwaukee leading by six. Hill with it. Now guarded by Smart. Hill, no good. 152 left here in the third quarter. And finished off by Brown. And you gotta love how seriously Brown takes his ability to score. He has the green light to fire from just about anywhere on the court. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Pass to Lopez. The shot by Middleton, wide open, and the three off target. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And one thing Williams has a lot of natural strength. You can play him physical, but most of the time he's going to win that battle. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. for Milwaukee. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Here's Lopez and the dunk by Lopez. And George Hill recognizing when his man was open an effective pass that time. Wanamaker the pass to Williams. Back to Wanamaker. To the inside. Up again. 
Smart on the wing. He's guarded by Hill. Almost, but it rolls out. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area, that's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Poirier. Back to Smart. That's a floater go, and the layup is good. Smart's got four points this quarter. And this is where Smart's at his best, being aggressive, going towards the rim. And onto Takumbo, sends it in. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh, attack-minded all the way. Yeah, great read, calls his own number, and then sends it home. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. You can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Middleton and Ilyasova holding down the forward spots. Ludzo is out there with George Hill. And it's Lopez in at the center position. Here's Walker. Double team on Williams. And the ball's tied up so we'll have a jump ball. And Boston has possession. Cantor dishes to Williams. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Cantor. Good combination of power and finesse by Cantor. Helps him finish strong through contact. Here's Hill. And a great assist by Blunzo as that one goes in. blunzo has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Walker. Inside, Lopez with the steal, and now it's Hill running. He can go all the way. Walker with some nice D. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Offline with his three. I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Hill against Walker. Looking to get back on track here. And he sinks the layup. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Passes it to Ilias Sober. The kick out to Hill. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Walker goes in over Hill. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And some changes here for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Robert Williams. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Brad Wanamaker. And then for Milwaukee, Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Ilyasova. A, a prolific scorer in this league. Walker just keeps getting better. One of the most elusive covers in the game today. Pass to Lopez. It's 
Back to Hill. Down to five on the shot clock. Four for nine from the floor with that miss. Celtics trail by five. Cantor, the pass to Williams. Here's Walker. Tries again. Cantor's shot is off. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Here's Hill. And Hayward with the block. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Feeds to Cantor. Fade away. That one doesn't drop. The Bucks go the other way with it. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's foul number two for him. Bucks leading by five. Wudso kicks to Middleton. And taken away by Brown. The instincts on defense on full display there. It was a gamble for sure, but it paid off big time in the form of a steal. Lopez against Williams. Lopez passes to Bloodso. A double team Bloodso. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's Boston with it. The Celtics have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Pass to Canner. Shots good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his third assist on the night. And that's just all muscle there. Canner is solid at fighting his way through whatever the deep throws at him. And the whistle blows. He's fouled on a shot that misses, but not by much. Two free throws nonetheless coming up for him. Clearly a foul. Free throw drops for Hill. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now here's Walker. Tips it, and Cantor able to finish. One of the game's very best offensive rebounders, Cantor also has the wherewithal to quickly convert for the score. One so kicks to Lopez. For three, Hill. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Walker the pass to Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First free throw is good. And Williams drops them both. Now DiVincenzo. There's the pass to Bledsoe. Yes, that goes in. Bledsoe's got 10 points in just the second half. Look, it's nice to be a tough, small guy in this league. If you're built like Eric Bledsoe, the contact, no effect. Williams passes to Walker. Over Hill. 
Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Kemba Walker. He got a shadow Walker. His mid-range game is on point. DiVincenzo kicks to Bledsoe. He feeds it to Lopez. Takes it down to Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Pass to Williams. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Shot's good by Bloodsoe. Bloodsoe's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Now a timeout called by Boston. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thank you, David. Hill kicks to Lopez. Hayward comes with the double team. Here's DiVincenzo. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Kemba Walker picks one up. All the officials are all over that one. That free throw, no good. on the second free throw. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Budzo against Walker. Over Budzo. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from Kemba Walker. And the pick and roll so effective when the ball's in Walker's hands. You can count on him to make the right read almost every time. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Marcus March checked in for Boston. The Bucks also with the sub. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Hill. Milwaukee leading by six. Giannis passes to Lopez. And stolen by Hayward. And now running up the court. Hayward's pushing it up. Drops in the tray off the fast break. A, a tough cover out there. You want to close out hard on Hayward. But you also have to respect his ability to take you off the bat. It's out of the combo on the wing. Over Walker. And Giannis with the basket on the assist from Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got his seventh assist here tonight. Walker against Giannis. He's off from 17 feet. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. The shot's good from Lopez. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Walker. And a capable score from anywhere on the floor. You give Walker those kinds of looks, and he's going to make you pay. Lopez finds Antetokounmpo. And they double up Antetokounmpo. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. 
And how about Hayward mixing it up inside there? Shows he can score on either side of the three-point line and, and really makes him more difficult to guard. And to Takumbo. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's good from out of the Kumbo. He's perfect from the line this time. And they've been so steady at the line in the second half. Gotten a good volume of free throws and converting at a high clip. Middleton against Williams. Second shot opportunity. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Williams has got four this quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Hudson passes to Middleton. He dishes it to Antetokounmpo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kemba Walker picks one up. He, he's got to get to the line a little bit more here in the second half. Let's see if he can get that edge back that he had in the first. The first one falls. And he can't hit the second. Not a perfect trip to the line, but at least he made this game a two-possession affair. Outside, Williams. Outside, Walker launches it. Kept alive by Boston. And Cantor able to finish. Uh, he's a scorer and stepping up this time. Cantor with a big one. Hudson passes to Middleton. He kicks to Giannis. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Kemba Walker picks one up. He throw good. Giannis. Both free throws, good for Giannis. Celtics trail by four. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Walker and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line that's on Brooke Lopez wow wow he got whacked on that one shouldn't be much debate there good on the first and that narrows the lead down to just three So Walker nails both of them. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Now the Dekumbo against Walker. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Walker. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Jalen Brown's checked in for Walker. Drop 
takes the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And you just have to understand that hours and hours of practice mean that clutch free throws become easy. Now the feed to Cantor. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Bucks leading by four. 131 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Yacht. Here's Lopez. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Ennis Kent. No mistake that Lopez shoots threes now more often that he can't go down low at that size and do damage. That free throw good from Lopez. 24 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bledsoe against Smart. This one for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Giannis outside. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Smart, wide open. He fires. Hands it from downtown. And, of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting the three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Hayward against DiVincenzo. Antetokounmpo kicks to DiVincenzo. Hayward with some nice D. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Gets the first, and that brings them within five. Drops them both. Under Kumbo with the ball. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. He's just such a, a bulldog out there in terms of his mentality. Eric Bledsoe can get assertive, and when he does that, it raises the level of play for the entire team. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by six. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? There's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. against out of the Kumbo. A fundamental footwork and boxing out there that allowed him to rip that ball right off the rim. So the first one drops and that makes it a seven point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Guy is a comeback, probably not in the cards at this point. Yeah, I think you can put a fork in it. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. 
So it's Milwaukee picking up the win, and this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.